the waning days of the Winter Olympics on today's TMJ4. We're going to talk today with Randy Dean. He's the executive director out of the Pettit National Ice Center and Olympic Training Facility. A lot of people have theories about what's going on this year. We were just talking about this program that has dozens of medals over the years, so far has won uh, in this year's Olympics. Is there any one thing to blame, or is it just so many things colliding at one time? I, I think there are a lot of factors. Okay. No question that the results have been a huge disappointment. Some people say disaster or catastrophe. I think that's what it takes to kind of rally people around and say, something's wrong here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're doing well, let's we'll see what we're doing wrong, benchmark on other programs, and try and get this corrected. And like you say, it's always good to look forward. Where do you see the Pettit Center in, say, 2018, playing a role in speed skating? Oh, that's a good question. I think, we, and uh, we think we're favorably positioned for that, altitude-wise, mm -hmm. uh, at sea level. <laughs> the games in uh, Korea in 2018 will be at 50 feet above sea level, where the speed skating will actually be. Right. Some people think it's higher, but actually the speed skating venue will be at sea level. We think we'll see more activity than we have in the past. I think it's smart to do that, and we welcome it. Some of the talk coming out of Sochi from the athletes and coaches who are there is that the ice at the Pettit is better, more realistic for competition purposes than that perfect ice they have up in Salt Lake City. Do you think that could bring more training here prior to 2018? I think it does replicate the conditions you're going to find at sea level, mm -hmm. heavier air. Uh, you've got to stroke harder, stroke more often. You can't glide as long as you can in Salt Lake. So I think it does uh, lead well. Or, play well to our hands as far as um, preparation for Korea. And Somebody we at least came out with a medal today. Yeah, we did. The relay and short track, the very last event. Somebody wants to get involved if they're interested after watching the Olympics in the last two weeks. What do they need to do? We hope a lot of youngsters get inspired and say, I want to you know, get on the podium and support uh, U.S. speed skating. Uh, contact the Pettit. Get our Learn to Speed Skate program. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. a good start. We have clubs locally. and. Uh, Kids can pick up on that and then uh, progress through. We have an Academy of Skating Excellence program for long-term development also. 